It is now 616 on this Monday night. Betsy's off tonight. Matt Wentz here this evening. What a gorgeous day today, but it looks like things are getting a little unsettled out there. Yeah, getting a little unsettled, mm -hmm. Russ. Uh, you know, we were hot today. This is yeah. only our 690 of the year so far. Okay. I mean, it's been relatively mild summer. Yeah, it's very just, pleasant. It has yeah. been very pleasant. We've had a lot of those. I want everyone to remember this come wintertime because <laughs> We typically don't get a lot of good feedback in the winter, uh, but yeah, it's been a great <laughs> summer. Remember that everybody and today, no exception. If you like the heat, you had it today. 91 Akron, ditto that Cleveland, New Philly, Mansfield checking in at 90 degrees this afternoon. Even Ashtabula hot spot sitting at 89 degrees for a high, but things starting to change. Notice the heats out towards the east. You get towards the west. We've got a lot of 70s on here. That's because we've got those showers and thunderstorms moving through. You combine that temperature. You marry it up with the dew point and you get feels like temperatures 92 out in Jefferson right now. 90 Canton still hot down in Dover and New Philly. Meanwhile, we've got cooler readings, but it's muggier out towards the west. So let's talk about the rain that's moving in. This is the leading edge of a very unsettled pattern that will be moving in from the west and kind of take up residence across the Great lakes. We've got an area of rain. This is just rain. I got done tweeting about that. There's no lightning in this the last half hour, so it's just some good downpours coming in to the greater Cleveland area. We're drive the tribe game now. You can see Strongsville now getting some hints of some light to moderate rain. It's a, a steady rain. Good garden rain back towards Elyria, Oberlin right now. This is all heading kind of off towards the north and the west as it heads north and east. Kind of confusing on that. So the Cleveland area will end up getting what's down in Medina. A few embedded downpours mixed with just some light rain and then heavier rain now moving through Maslin. This will get into North Canton area over the next five, 10 minutes as that continues to head up into Summit County. So Akron, Cuyahoga Falls, Stowe, Hudson, you'll eventually get some of the heavier rain from that Canton cell then down towards the south, some heavier downpours as well. Once this moves through, we're not quite done with the rain. You can see we've got scattered activity back that behind that overnight. This is the big show though. There's an upper level load that'll skirt through the Great Lakes. And we've got some pretty good shear with these thunderstorms. In fact, numerous tornadoes on the ground for areas near Chicago. We're not going to deal with that tonight, but tomorrow that low will be north of us. So we will have to keep an eye on that as we get in the day tomorrow. Could see some strong thunderstorms as this tropical flow remains thick out of the south. Look at the dew points, the muggy air from here all the way to the Canadian border. That's not going anywhere anytime soon. National Design Mart look ahead as we take the big picture look with this. We've got showers and thunderstorms in the forecast tomorrow. Wednesday, Thursday, as this pattern remains unsettled across the Great Lakes, best chance for rain I think will be tomorrow and then again on Friday. Still good chances on Wednesday, Thursday, though. Eventually a frontal boundary will push all this down to the Gulf of Mexico and clear us out for the weekend. But we could use some rain with the heat. The grass has been dry. You can see we are certainly the bullseye for the rainfall across the Great Lakes over the next couple of days. Muggy meter, we stay in the tropical category. Then woo, there we go. Saturday, Sunday, bringing in more comfortable air. Perfect timing for that weekend. One more thing to keep an eye on next week. Put it in the back of your head. Tropic is getting active again. It's been a while since Elsa. This is potential tropical cyclone six. This is expected to head towards Florida as we get on into the weekend and then eventually maybe the Ohio Valley next week. Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook 80s to near 90 degrees. If we get that sunshine shower and thunderstorm chances continue through Friday and then the weekend we clear things out. Russ, we're talking sunshine and lower humidity Sunday and Monday of next week.